Cyber sickness. Ever heard of it? I, I've uh, kind of been hearing yes. about it lately. Yeah, you might already be feeling it. I know we might hear at KCAU, so many people working from home now and so many students taking classes online. So the amount of time we're spending in front of a screen can actually hurt us if we're not careful. Yeah, who would have guessed this? Alana Quillen shows us how we can all protect ourselves. It's our new reality. Well, I would probably sit in front of a screen at least five hours a day. That's what Ashley Rose's final months of high school looked like last semester. My eyes would hurt a little bit and I would have like headaches if I stared at the screen for multiple hours on end. Now as she prepares for college, she's trying to get smart with her schedule. Have a break before I would have like my next class, so I like scheduled times for myself to be off the computer, like off the phone. Ashley is feeling what doctors call cyber sickness. It's something they say is becoming more common during the pandemic. One of the toughest challenges parents are facing right now is how to manage screen time when not only school but also social interactions are screen based. And that's something that may be just unavoidable right now. Symptoms include Nausea, dizziness, headaches, and feeling wobbly. Screens can be very draining, as we all know. Um, you know, conference call after conference call, it's, it's, it wears on you. Several North Texas students shared with me what they're doing to stay well. Just like the opportunity to just move around and get about, it can be like ridiculously refreshing. Others are choosing to write instead of type. I think writing down notes still definitely helps with all of that, and it kind of takes you away from focusing solely on your computer. And some are knowing when to say no to taking on extra work. Like having really, really um, distinct times where I'm working and times where I'm relaxing was important. You know, when you're on meetings, you can just you know log into one and then log off and then log into another one, right? Um, there's no more commuting. There's no more walking to the next place. So um, I think being able to commit to more things is easier and that's really dangerous. Teachers hope students can keep these things in mind as we navigate another semester on the screens. As we are learning from our students, you've got to build in the breaks. You've got to take care of yourself. Again, that's Alana Quillen reporting tonight. And something else that doctors have mentioned, cyber sickness is more common for those that are prone to motion sickness. Holly, why I have felt it, it might also be a good time to find balance between work screen time and your leisure screen time, like playing games on your phone or using social media for extended periods of time. Something else to think about. Yep, just another thing to add to the list.